Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle back again. Uh, in this video we're going to take a look at the task of ripping a CD to your computer, um, uh, to your music files. This gets to be less and less of an issue these days with digital downloads and all that, but I know a lot of people that still want to bring over their own music from CDs, maybe old CDs that you got laying around. I know I got a closet full of them. So how would you do that? Well on Windows you'd use Windows Media Player or something similar even iTunes to rip the music from the computer. Now those 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 on Windows and on Mac you tend to have these all-in-one programs that do you everything. Well that's great if you got the hardware resources to drive those things all the time. But Antics being geared towards lighter weight operating, we we, we trade one massive monolithic program for several smaller programs that work a little more efficiently. So I've got a CD in my CD drive. I'm going to Applications, Sound and Video, and Asunder. Asunder is what's going to rip our music. I've already got one in here. I have no idea. I've never listened to this CD. I just found it because it was the only CD I had on the bookcase. Um, it's looked up the database uh, from the CD. I did not enter this information. Asunder's found all this. We can change the preferences. We're going to change where we put it. I'm going to rip directly to my music folder. There we go. I'm not going to create a playlist right now, but you can do that if you want. This, you can change how the file names are listed. I'm going to leave mine this way for now because it's going to be album directory is going to be artist dash and then the album. That's fine with me. I really don't care. The MP3 files themselves are going to be encoded with tags that the media managers that I use will find. I'm going to encode this not as Og Vorbis but as an MP3 and for the purpose of this I'm just going to leave it all alone and then it's we already we've already got the information so we're going to say okay. And we're going to hit the big red rip button. And it's going to get started. It's going to rip all the music over to the file. Um, this is probably going to take a little while. This computer has a really slow CD-ROM drive. So I'm going to pause until this is over. And I'll show you how this ties in with your Goggles Media Manager or with XMMS. Okay, we're back. I finished ripping. I just ripped four songs. Uh, just to give show, give you an idea what the what you would do with goggles, for instance, with this XMMS, you could just click on the file and up it would come. Um, with goggles, you need to go to music and sync folder. This will sync. Tell you ask you what folder to sync. You can sync your whole directory. I sync the directory, and up comes the Alan Moore project here. Alan Moore and Tim Perkins. So there you go. That's ripping a CD. You'd use a sunder, and then you could import into whatever music media player you want to. Tips, tricks, how tos. Visit annex.mepis.org. Travel post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.